Typically when we think of art, at least for me, my mind immediately goes to visuals, like images, paintings, all of that sort of stuff. When in reality, it doesn't have to be something that you can visually see. Art to me, and what I believe it is, is something that evokes an emotion, whether that be tragedy or happiness, to passion or even loss. For this assignment of the synthetic analysis, I wanted to challenge myself a bit and choose a different platform than paintings or something. So I decided to go with the short story, A Christmas Memory by Truman Capote. I really enjoyed reading this short story for one of the modules that we had, so much so that I decided to choose it for one of the art forms for this assignment. I just loved reading about Truman Capote's childhood memories through friendship and loss. He examines these motives throughout the book by using figurative language such as symbolism, imagery, and tone. Published in 1956, he captures the nostalgia of his childhood and an old friendship by creating an environment full of imagery that we're able to read and experience. Symbolism through objects that represent the people in the story, such as him and his elderly cousin and their relationship, and the tone. By the tone of the book, we can tell that he very much misses his dear friend. For example, Capote expresses familiar imagery through utilizing the scent stimuli. The first word we read in this entire book is the word imagine. Imagine. I feel like he chooses this word so that we can have a little bit of a setup in our heads of what the house looked like, what it smelled like, what his friend looked like, so specific that it almost feels as if we're almost there in his place. This allows us to get a better understanding for what he writes and the love that he felt for his cousin and these memories from his childhood in particular. The second art form that I chose for this assignment was I and the Village by Marc Chagall. Um, This is a depiction of his childhood from memories through imagination and dreams. Painted in 1911, Chagall expresses his childhood memories through imagination and dreams like I mentioned with the use of juxtaposition, color, and form, as you can clearly see just by looking at this painting. I in the Village is a narrative self-portrait that contains various images jointly creating one painting that signifies the place he grew up in, all while in the content of dreams. This is very, very personal to Chagall himself, as you can tell, and how, the way that he de- defines childhood and his own memories of it. One of the aspects that he uses is color, as I mentioned before. And we can see by just by looking at this painting, he uses very playful and vibrant colors, such as blues, greens, reds, some yellows, and they instantly catch our eye because they're unnatural. The man's face is green, which is not very normal, and parts of the goat's face, due to juxtaposition, are different colors, blue, red, and white, and each house in the village different colors. By comparison, I was able to come to know the different perspectives each artist took on their childhood memories. Truman Capote took friendship and loss, while Marc Chagall took dreams and imaginations. 